What is up, homies? Welcome back to another reaction from Heroes of Forge. Today we're starting a brand new series, House of the Dragon. We are finally jumping into the Game of Thrones universe. Some people have been asking about this. I'm excited to kind of jump in. My history with Game of Thrones is so, like, all over the place. Weird. I've seen five episodes of season <laughs> one. I've seen all of season eight, which is the last season of Game of Thrones. So I'm sure that people are already like, what the hell are you doing? Well, yeah. you know what? It's a prequel series, so we can get away with it. Hector, That's what's fine. your history with Game of Thrones? I'd love to know. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Adam. I, I Years ago when the show was on, the original show, I think I, I think they were already in season two or three. The point is I watched the entire first First season and I went this is such a well-made show N not for me I'm gonna peace out uh, I, I decided that the, that the tone and the storytelling was not really uh, uh -huh. my thing but I um, was very happy that um, a lot of people really really dug it and I was bummed that a lot of people loved it so so much and the last su last season was apparently so bad that they just erased mm -hmm. eight years of good times and they were like no I hate this show now I'm like that's a bummer dude that's such that a bummer sucks. I was like it's yeah. fine I don't know what the big deal is right when things get that big it is very difficult to basically pay it off do you know what I mean when people have mm -hmm. expectations that high oh this is the greatest mm -hmm. television series maybe ever my experience is similar to Adam's uh, I saw the first <laughs> two episodes and uh, I was like yeah this show's not for me but then everybody after that has because i'm a lord of the rings fan everybody right. after that's like you gotta watch game of right. thrones you gotta watch game of thrones so i was like cool i'm way too far away to catch up on it let me wait until sure. all eight seasons are out mm -hmm, and sure. then the eighth one dropped and i was like i don't think i ever want to watch this show ever because of the reaction and that's probably why we're so late on watching it the good news is is that this sh spin-off show coming out and it being a prequel i feel like it does not have the same baggage as that original mm -hmm. show yeah all right here we go ready in <laughs> yeah three two one go as the first century of the Targaryen dynasty came to a oh my close, God. Dynasty. the health oh God. of the old king, <laughs> Jaehaerys, was failing. This is I'm going sure to have to take notes. I'm going to have to take notes. This is our, like, yeah. okay. It sounds like Lena Headey. ten adult dragons under its yoke, King Jaehaerys reigned over nearly 60 years of peace and prosperity. Okay. Princess Rhaenys Targaryen, the king's eldest descendant, and her younger cousin, Prince Viserys Targaryen, the king's eldest male descendant. We're going to be real quiet on this show because there's lots to keep track of. Yeah, <laughs> lots yeah, of no. families and... I'm, okay. I'm already kind of lost right now, so... The Prince Viserys Targaryen be made Prince of Dragonstone. Rhaenys, great, great theme a song. woman, would not inherit the Iron Throne. Isn't it Ramin Djawadi who does the music? At least for Game of Thrones. Ramin Djawadi, oh. yeah. Instead chose Viserys. That theme, yeah. My father prevent a war being fought over his succession that could tear down the house of the dragon was itself drama 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 <laughs> drama 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 it is now the ninth year of king viserys first targaryen's reign 172 years before the death of the mad king Ares and the birth of his daughter princess daenerys targaryen i recognize that name i don't know if i mispronounced those names Sorry. This lore is full of a bunch of Benedict Cumberbatches. You're gonna have to you're gonna have yeah, to give right. me that's true. It's full of a bunch of Timothy mm. Chalamets. I know. Well, it's it funny because I was actually talking I forget who I was talking to, and I was mentioning how like Star Wars is such an like easy lore to get into. And I think it's a lot of it's because I started watching it as a kid. But once you get into like this, like Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, I'm like, God damn, it's like some of the names. Yeah, Aragorn these names and are intense. Glorn yeah. and Florn and yeah. Schlorn and Mlorn, and I'm like, I yeah. don't know. <laughs> Schlong and Dong, and I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, don't forget Schlong and, and Dong. Gilly and Gilly, <laughs> Schlonger yeah. and Donger. Dang, dude, she was riding it? That's crazy. Yeah, it's how to train your dragon. You know I don't like you to go flying while I'm in this condition. You don't like me to go flying while you're in any condition. she giving birth right now? <laughs> mm hmm <laughs> This discomfort is how we serve the realm. I'd rather serve as a knight and ride to battle in glory. The childbed is our battlefield. We must learn to face no, it with thanks. a stiff lip. Well, you don't have to worry about it, Hector. <laughs> yeah, Hector. <laughs> You're okay. Shall we discuss the heirs tournament? The cost of the tournament is not negligible. Before the games are over, my son will be born. This is the quietest we've ever been during a reaction. <laughs> Taking it all in. Just like, going on? absorbing. Yeah. He passed through the Red Keep's gates at first light. 
Does my father know he's here? No. Good. No. I think that's one of the reasons I'll do a, I'll do a comparison here to Lord of the Rings. I think that's one of the reasons I like Lord of the Rings or I prefer it, I guess, more than Game of Thrones because Lord of the Rings story is like about the little people. It's about like the common folk, mm, you know, yeah. being a part of the larger. But a lot of the Game of Thrones stuff is like we're going to spend all the time with royalty, with these people in charge. And I don't like the people in charge. They suck. <laughs> hey, man, that's life. Yeah. Doctor Who. Yeah. Is this discount Legolas? <laughs> Do you know what it is? Sometimes I think with like fantasy style languages like that. Mm hmm. That I'm like, man, white people just love to cosplay like they're exotic. I feel like that's what it is. It's like white people just love to be like, what if I spoke with an accent? And I was like, Flam, blan, da, la, 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 la. And I'm like, oh, you just want to speak Spanish? <laughs> you just wish you knew Spanish? Hector, <laughs> wish you knew... I feel like more people would learn fucking languages in this country. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like everyone here speaks two languages, English and bad English. Yeah. <laughs> es verdad. I want to fly with you on Dragon Back. See the great wonders across the narrow sea and eat only cake. You aren't worried about your position. I like this position. It's quite comfortable. Mm. Go for some yellow cake. <laughs> Man, cake sounds good. Why is there a face in that tree? She took Lord Moore's Martell of Dawn to husband and burned her own fleet off Sunspear to show her people that they were finished running. Do <gasps> so you remember? <laughs> if the scepter sees this book, then the scepter. Renew <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. There was a face on that tree. Was it a grandmother Willow from Pocahontas? What's happening? <laughs> yep. Is that Italy? No, that's that where Thor flew off the balcony after his mother was oh, yeah. killed by yeah, right. curse. It has grown slightly, your grace. Uh-oh. It's Can not a tumor. It is. The king has been under heavy stresses preparing for the birth. We will have to summon Dr. Pimple Popper. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to amputate the ghosts in his blood. We should leach it again, Megan. It's a wound that refuses yep, see, to see there you go. Maester. Might I suggest cauterization? It will be painful. Fine. Oh, it's like in the middle of his back? As yeah. crappy as it is to live in these times, guys, I'm so happy I didn't live in those times when like oh, medicine yeah, was no. like not a thing. Oh Well, <sighs> that's the thing is like you spend more it's time tough. In bath than I it's on the tough for me to get a little invested because isn't there magic in the world of Game of Thrones or no? There's no magic. There's know. just dragons. I have no idea. But yeah. then again, in the last season of Game of Thrones, there's like people that look like fucking Darth Maul that make ice picks, I, yep. and I'm like, I yep. don't know what's mm. happening here. Has there Your been any word from your dear brother? <laughs> Not since I named him Commander of the City Watch. I'm sure he will reemerge for the tourney. Your brother's already there, homie. I've never been more certain of anything. Uh oh. The dream. You sure about that, bud? It was clearer than a memory. You sure about that? <laughs> you sure about that? And I heard the sound of a thundering oh, oath. She knows it's not splintering a shields and ringing mm. swords. How? They had no. It's mo mothers just know, dude. This is the last time, Viserys. She's getting her tubes medieval tied after this. And two pregnancies ended well before their term. Jesus. Yeah, That's she's. Fine. In twice as many years. That's rough, dude. Wow. And I'm sorry if I have failed you in that I am, but I've mourned all the dead children I can. All right, that's rough. Fuck. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's great to have this scene privately where they're kind of talking yeah. about that yeah. because I bet publicly yeah. th this world is, you know, not set as up to where like to her. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Beginning tonight, King's Landing will learn to fear the color gold. It's just like Willow. Yeah, right? <laughs> I love how we have cities on this planet where you can walk down little streets like this and they really do look like they are from yeah. a different time yeah. period. No, 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 no. What's he? Did he just, he just cut his schlong dong off. Oh, man. Was that what that was? Yeah. Like, are the, are, was that a rapist? I think it was, right? 
And is this a murder? Maybe what they're if going they're around wrong? punishing criminals. Lordy, Lord. That's prop, okay. Dude. That's a good prop. That's <laughs> God damn. Nobles from every corner of the realm are right now descending upon King's Landing for my brother's tourney. Do you want them mugged, raped, murdered? Uh, I need more information. <laughs> Prince Damon as commander to promote law and order. The criminal element should fear the city watch. If only the prince would show the same devotion to his lady wife as he does his work, your grace. Oh, good and honorable lady of the Vale. In the Vale, men are said to fuck sheep instead of women. I can assure you, the sheep are prettier. I don't like this guy. Officially. Jesus no. Christ. <laughs> Officially. You, God damn. Yep, you're he's out. A woman to warm yep. your band. Your own That's the thing about Game of Thrones is most characters get to that point pretty soon into the Game of Thrones story. Most characters well, you go, nope, don't like telling, you. This guy's telling him to respect his wife. Any further performances like last night's will be answered. Understood, Your Grace. A little slap on the wrist. Yeah, barely. This guy gets to go murder. Just like our people. society. Just like our society, right, guys? It's just like our yeah. society. <laughs> oh, we getting sexy times? Uh oh. It's HBO. <laughs> it's not TV. It's not TV. Of course, it's Game of Thrones, bro. It's gratuitous orgies. <laughs> Wait, so people are just watching this? Interesting. Yeah, we, we, the three of us are I mean, watching this, Adam. You're right. We are, are, Adam. <laughs> Clearly. You are Damon Targaryen. Right of Caracis, Wildo of Dark Sister. The king cannot replace you. Oh, gonna be replaced by the king's son. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a hard time. I mean, not clearly not. I mean, you can't keep it up because the birth of my nephew is making me having a insecure. flaccid time. <laughs> oh, speed jousting, huh? Mm hmm. Oh, damn. Princess Rainey is Targaryen. I would humbly ask for the favor of the queen who never was. What does that mean? Sounds condescending. He's, he's like, uh, he is. I would gladly take it if I thought I needed it. Yo, man, white people are crazy. First they invent this, then they invent Exa Games, dude. <laughs> Not even. <laughs> Not even, bro. What do you know about the Sir Criston Cole, Sam? I'm told Sir Criston is common born son of Lord Dondarrion Stuart, but other than that. Lord Dondarrion. I don't know. Baratheon was another name in the house of in the Game of Thrones. Yeah. Yo, that guy's that guy must be like a level one hundred knight. Who's his? Sir Gawain High Tower of Old Town, eldest son of Gawain. the of the King. Sir Gawain John Son. Gawain High Tower. Gawain Old Johnson. Oh no no no! Oh yeah! Dirty. Oh, the horse? Dirty. oh Dirty, no! Man. Not cool. Not cool. Now I'm fairly certain I can win these games, Lady Allison. Having your favor would all but assure it. Nah, Sir. dude. Sir, mm -hmm. I believe she she looks oh. like 14. Get out of here. I don't know the rules of jousting, but I'm pretty sure that wasn't fair. With that guy <laughs> yeah, but uh. the rules of royalty royalty are that royalty can do whatever they want. Do whatever they want. Oh no. Oh, she's gonna, she gonna oh, give birth boy. to triplet girls. <laughs> so all attempts to turn the baby fail. Oh no. Emma. Dang, dude. Emma. I'm here. I'm here. Having a child without modern medicine? No thanks. Yeah, dude. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, poor woman. Yo, shout out to all our moms. Shout out to all moms yeah. giving birth. <laughs> Shout out, shout out to all shout my out, descendants love. who had never to do, do this <laughs> a thousand years ago. Jesus. All my ancestors. Yeah. Shout out to Ugg the caveman who is my ancestor. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh. oh, this is just oh, a hockey dance oh. now, Adam. This is just hockey this now. This has turned into a lucha libre. This is the current Kings and Edmonton oh. Oilers game that's happening right now. I wonder if this is how we should celebrate the birth of our future king. Hmm. With wanton violence. It's been 70 hmm. years since King Makel's end. These knights. Are Ouch. They're just letting them fight? It's a marvel that war didn't break out at first blood. Ah! Oh, oh, oh my oh, god. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Jesus. 
<laughs> That's Hector in the back there. That dude puking. <laughs> oh no. She doesn't like it. Mm, this isn't a good sign for that baby. During a difficult birth, it sometimes becomes necessary for the father to make an impossible choice. It's going to be a boy and he's going to sacrifice the wife. Or to lose yep. them both. There is a chance that we can save the child, which involves cutting directly into the womb to free the infant. So it's going to make me pass out. <laughs> Just don't show it. Like, it's like, what? Oh. You can save the child. Oh, no. That's all he cared about. It's going to be a girl. I guarantee it. Yo, that homeboy just got his head chopped in two, and y'all are still cheering? <laughs> Yo, be nice to your pole guys, man. Oof. Oh no, oh no, oh no. It's so violent. Mm. Yes. They're going to bring the babe out now. Uh, be honest with her, bitch. Yeah, I couldn't. Nope. Oh, no, never. Nope. And, oh, nope. Lord. Oh, dude, I tell you what, man. If I lived in the Game of Thrones world, I'd be probably living off the grid in a cabin somewhere. Just not bugging city anybody. Living folk, doing my own thing. No, it's all right. Oh, God. Well, okay, HBO, don't show me the thing. Just, oh, I get it. Yeah, like, don't show the thing, please. Oh, you know that's not sanitized. No, no, no. Don't be oh. oh, no. Thanks, thanks for cutting away, HBO. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, get this guy. Get this guy. That was a straight yeah. up 50 50 grind all the way through. That was a solid 50 yeah. 50, dude. That was a great hustle. We're proud 50, of you, brother. Here I am. Going on there all the time. Where's Tony Hawk? Does Tony Hawk approve? Oh, this guy's getting worked. I dig it. Yeah, unfortunately, oh, Matt's yeah. losing the entire oh, season. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Other dude, is, other dude is toast. He's dead. Oh, man. Nope. Place bets Bat on how the boy. other dude's dying. I bet you he's going to get stabbed in the little face hole he's, he's got. Oh, my bad. <laughs> HBO went back to the thing? Okay. All right, oh, HBO. No! Oh, man. HBO, why are you doing this, bro? Oh. Because they're, cause they're groundbreaking. <laughs> We're going to have to definitely have to put a warning in front of the people watching our YouTube reactions on YouTube. Be like, yeah. this is a very... R rated show. You have to blur that out. Like really really, have really, to, really yeah, traumatic stuff, and don't, you know. This guy sucks. My lord, it's a girl. Yeah! Oh, get him! Oh, bash his face in. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> He's still going to kill you, dude. He's going to turn around and pull a sneaky, evil guy move. Congratulations, Your Grace. You have a son. Oh, oh great. He gets a oh, son. Lord. Funeral for a queen. They just let everybody know the queen died. God, doesn't stuff like this make you want to visit Scotland, Ireland? Yeah. I just want to go just in general. general but, yeah. Countries in the <gasps> high north. The baby too. No, what? The baby didn't make it. There was two bodies there. There was. Dracarys. <laughs> Oh, you the dragon's going to burn the pyre. Two people for nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, those other guards better move out of the way, bro. I will say, it's a pretty baller way to go out. To, um, pretty badass to, way to like, go out, to, guys. Like, pretty badass funeral. These 
Recent tragedies have left you without an obvious heir. The succession is already set. Daemon Targaryen. It could destabilize the realm. Mm. The truth is, Daemon should be far away from this court. Daemon is my brother. Mm -hmm. But if the gods should visit some further tragedy on you, either by design or design? accident... My brother would murder me. Take my crown. Yes. Yes. Yes, he <laughs> Have would. Have you not seen Game of Thrones, bro? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hello? Do you know what universe you're living in? <laughs> the gods have yet to make a man who lacks the patience for absolute power, Your Grace. It would not be an line. aberration for the king <clears throat> to name a successor. Well, who else would have a claim? His daughter. Your daughter. The king's firstborn Lord. child. Rene. Mm -hmm. A girl. Mm -hmm. A girl. Yep. Perhaps we shouldn't break 100 years of it by naming a girl heir. No, maybe you should. Or worse, he is impulsive and violent. They have real shit security there. <laughs> they don't even know he's yeah. there. I'm sorry, Your Grace, but that is the truth as I see it, and I know that others this here actor, agree. I will not be made to Looks choose. like this actor to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they all kind of look alike to me. Rhaenys was the only child of Jaehaerys' eldest son. She had a strong claim at the Great Council. Then how could we My wife and son are dead! Have I not given everything? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a really uh, great choice, writing-wise, to have also the son heir die. Like, yeah. that was a shock to yeah. us. That was, yeah, I was like, oh, sure. great. That's actually very surprising to me. How is his grace? I thought you might go to him, offer him comfort. I wouldn't know what to say. He'll be glad of a visitor. You might wear one of your mother's dresses. Oh, Lord. Mm -mm. I brought a book. It's very kind. Thank you. It's a favorite of Gross. mine. Gross. I do know how passionate you are for the histories. She's so young and he's so old. When my mother died, people only ever spoke to me in riddles. All I wanted was for someone to say that they were sorry for what happened to me. I'm very sorry, Your Grace. That's a nice human moment. Be decent, man. Send her on her way. This guy just hangs out in the orgy room. <laughs> Orgies! Never trust a bro who hangs out in the orgy room. King and council have long rued my position as next in line for the throne. But... <laughs> oh boy, just... <laughs> He has he to not stop. be bothered, bro. Like, you cannot dang, dude, be this guy, is, <laughs> this guy is talking. Spend I gotta listen. Song. He's paying for everybody. This bro, oh, man. Uh huh. Uh huh. The Go ahead. For a day. Oh boy, gonna get spicy. Gonna get spicy. Otto Hightower is a more honorable man than you could ever be. He doesn't protect you. I would. From what? Yourself. And that council of leeches knows it. They all prey on you for their own ends. Boof. <clears throat> you are to return to Runestone and your lady wife at once. And you are to do so without quarrel, by order of your king. Oh mm. shit. Mm. Oh shit. He has made an enemy this day, the king. <laughs> yup. Uh -huh. And this is going to be the whole show, these two brothers just fighting. Yup, yup. Could be, yeah. Oh snap. Did you cut are yourself on the- actual swords? Throne? The Iron Throne, baby. Swords. Valerian was the last living creature to have seen old Valeria before the doom. <laughs> These names are all the same name. Yeah. Valerian and Valeria, okay. Yeah. When you look at the dragons, what do you see? I suppose I see us. Everyone says Targaryens are closer to gods than to men. I think this character, Rhaenyra, is gonna be queen. And I think yeah. she's supposed mm -hmm. to, because like they said, no woman has ever sat on the throne. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, she so might I think end up being she's supposed Daenerys to be the first. Mother. Not mm -hmm. mother, maybe like mm -hmm. some kind of Grandmother? ancestor, because I feel like yeah. Daenerys, Emilia Clark's character. Place. Right. She, this is 172 I feel like, years this. before the Queen of the Dragons or whatever. Right. Mother of the Dragons. Damon was not made to wear yeah. the crown. How many years did you say? But I believe that 172. she. 172. Oh. Call it. So she could be her great grandmother. Lord of the tides. This is like uh, the High Republic to the Phantom Menace. It's yeah, like yeah, a, yeah. like yeah. close to two hundred year, around two hundred year thing. Lord promised to be faithful to King Viserys, and he's named heir, the Princess Rhaenyra. I pledge fealty to them, and shall defend them against all enemies in good faith. Meanwhile, this lady's like, um, my dad told me I should try to go fuck your dad. I don't know how <laughs> I feel about it. I pledge fealty to them and shall defend them against all enemies in good faith and without deceit. What, like, what is this guy mad about? He has a dragon, that's the coolest thing. <laughs> yeah. We should react to the movie Dragonheart. 
<laughs> we <laughs> should. <laughs> I think Kevin I've only Cosmic. seen that like once. Got that shit on 4K Blu-ray, baby. Dude, sweet. That Egon looked across the black water from Dragonstone, but ambition alone is not what drove him to conquest. It was a dream. Sweet. Just to begin with a terrible winter. I, Rickon Stark, Lord of Winterfell. Mm, how Stark. When this great winter comes, all of Westeros must stand against it. And if the world of men is to survive, a Targaryen must be seated on the Iron Throne. I think he's referring to the events of the show Game of Thrones. Oh, I'm sure. He might be. Aegon called his dream the Song of Ice and Fire. Oh, that's why it's called that. The dream. It's been passed from king to heir since Aegon's time. Now you must promise to carry it and protect it. That's a lot, man. I'd be yeah. like, eh, no big deal. Maybe I'll just go hang out. You go make a make a TV dinner and just say no, thank you. You hear my name, Rhaenyra Targaryen, Princess of Dragonstone. My heir. heir to the Iron Throne. Yeah. End of episode one. All right, and there we go. There it is. It and everybody lived happily ever after. <laughs> Great season. The Great season. Dragons. Dragons are oh, coming. Man. I would say my thoughts on it are that I really liked it. For me, it did a good job sucking me in and kind of like more so than I would say the pilot episode of Game of Thrones. It really kind mm. of made me like intrigued and interested in these characters in the story. And maybe, yeah. of course, a part of that is because I've seen bits of season one and I've seen all of season eight that I have an understanding mm. of Lord, you know, the House yeah. Targ Targaryen, House Stark. I, you know, there's, a, I know mm. enough that I'm like, okay, I see all the pieces falling into place. I, I thought this was really well done and I was really like hooked by it and interested in it. And I know we were kind of, mm -hmm. you know, making some jokes here and there about it, but generally speaking, like it, it, it got me, it got me good. So I'm, it's I'm a good yeah. show. Yeah. At this yeah. point, I'm just kind well of made. more. At this point, I'm just more interested in just like, cool, first episode, it gave me what I needed, gave me the context. Now I just kind of want to like dive into the rest of the series. Definitely whet my whistle for the show. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I came in, I came in not really invested in into the Game of Thrones universe. And even though the names yeah. were kind of difficult to, to grasp and like, yeah. I don't know, the fantasy, I, I guess the fantasy genre, if you're not in it all the time, it is a little bit difficult to wrap your head around if you're not like playing D&D yeah. &D mm -hmm. and right, it's right. something that like you've only seen once mm -hmm. and maybe the last thing you watched was Willow. This right. is going to be kind of a tough entryway, but I do feel like past the names, I feel like the story is engaging enough to to really kind of get me invested and figure out what is going to happen between these characters, given mm -hmm. that it's a brother and sister thing, not not like a two brother kings fighting for the throne. This is like two people who generally get along. Yeah, They both ride dragons, and one of them just became the queen who wasn't expected to be the queen. So. Mm -hmm. It's good. I think it's intriguing. I think it's cool. Yeah. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm in agreement with you guys. I really, How do you think? Yeah, I really liked what you guys said. I mean, it's everything you guys are saying. It's a very well-made show. The show mm -hmm. reminds me of, because there's a bunch of different types of fantasy within the fantasy mm -hmm. larger genre. There's a bunch of different types. And this mm -hmm. show, like the original Game of Thrones, it does feel like you're cracking open this really thick, very dense- Dragon egg. You know- <laughs> dragon egg yeah. very dense um, uh -huh. novel that is rich with characters and a lot of history and it almost feels like it's like you're reading lore like you're reading yeah. a bible like th that kind mm -hmm. of level yeah and some people are really into it and some aren't mm -hmm. and i think that um this show has at every level it's stellar like great acting very well mm -hmm. directed great editing mm -hmm. great pacing great sound effects visual effects yeah. are stellar great mm -hmm. score and music Everything, all the elements are there, and I'm along for the ride. I'm gonna, I'm definitely, you know, in, in tr interested to see where these characters go for the yeah. rest of the season. But it, I still get this, whatever the thing is, I still get this feeling of like, hey, at the end of the day, you might check out the whole first season, and you may, Hector, decide to just like spend your time elsewhere and not necessarily be fully invested in the rest of mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. the franchise, as it were. But it doesn't take anything away from the show. I did that with that show, Wheel of Time which I don't think you guys right. watched. I watched all of I season one of Wheel of Time. Time. Yeah. Excellently made show. But at the end of it, I was mm -hmm. just like, I don't know if this is for me. And I think I'd rather spend mm -hmm. my time watching other shows, reading other, you know, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Wheel of Time's a long book series, kind of just like yeah. Game of Thrones. So, um, yeah. but you know, maybe I'm saying this now and maybe I'll be into this enough to be like, 
to kind of a casual viewer because the way that I do media is if I get into something, I'm like, I'm going to get into it. You know, like we're just, we just started watching Star Trek, but homies, I read Star Trek. That's how much I get into that. And (laughs) I just, I don't think I'll ever be able to do that with like the George RR Martin books and the, you know, the whole Mm -hmm. lore, but that's Mm -hmm. really okay. You can just be a viewer of the shows and that's, that's fine too. This first episode doesn't, it it doesn't quite grab me. Like it's the greatest pilot you've ever seen, but it's, 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 there's a lot of setup. You can tell there's a lot of setup happening that you know yeah. is going to pay off later. Like they're just yeah. placing the chess pieces on the board in an intricate way, yeah. and then we're going to see that payoff. So, yeah, yeah, I think that's what this is about. Like it's it's clearly no episode one of Lost, no pilot episode of Lost, right? Right, right, right. But I feel right. like in its in its own way, I don't think that that was the purpose for this episode. I think it's really about the huge setup and implications of just these small actions that seem seemingly Agreed. small at the beginning, and then it's just going to like turn into something massive by the end of it. Who knows? I don't yeah. know. I'm excited to see where it goes and and when what what happens because yeah mm-hmm. because so far but yeah. it's so far before Game of Thrones there's a lot of flexibility for them to kind of do whatever they want which like you were yeah, saying Hector it's sure. like High Republic versus Phantom Menace era yeah. uh, it's cool yeah. so I'm excited I'm excited mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but if this is your yeah. first time watching along with us let us know what you thought about the first episode of House of the Dragon if you're a huge Game of Thrones fan let us know what you thought about this first episode and maybe give us some of your thoughts about the season overall try to keep it spoiler free obviously so nothing gets spoiled for us but let us know how you mm-hmm. feel about it and uh, where you're where you're at kind of where your head is at in regards to how you felt about this premiere let us know in the comments below subscribe check out the uncut reactions on patreon and we'll see you guys for the next episode bye, bye.